Hi, this is Lou from Lou's Antiques and Collectibles, and today we're at the Mommy Antique Mall. And we're going to um, change our seasonal display from a patriotic display to a summer theme display today. So let's unload this car. So what's nice about this mall is they have carts, which you really need when you're hauling in so much stuff like I seem to be doing these days. So we have it started to be loaded. And look at my car, what a mess. I feel like it looks like this all the time lately because of all the garage sailing. So we're gonna load all this stuff up and we're gonna take it into the mall. Now the, um, the camera gets a little wanky here, just so you know, um, cause I'm pushing this big cart and I am trying to record. So that's probably two things that shouldn't happen at the same time. But I wanted you to see the whole process of what it takes just to just change a display. So here we are, we're gonna head on into the mall and I'm here real early on a, on a um, Tuesday morning. It's the day after Memorial Day. And if you're gonna do a lot of moving around in your booth, you probably should do it first thing in the morning. There's not as many people here and it's just easier. You hate to be interrupting customers and uh, making sales that don't happen. It's because you're in the way. So I always come early in the morning and do this and wow, my camera gets a little bit crazy there. Sorry about that. But there were some major bumps in that sidewalk <laughs> as I'm going in. So let's head on in. And before we get to my booth, we're going to take a little tour of my mother's booth. She's kind of on the way and she was working on it today. And it looks like she's got a red, white, and blue display going on here. And uh, look at those nice lights. I think I'm going to have to copy this because it really lights up the corner. And look at how the stuff shines so much better. She has a beautiful booth. She has lots of jewelry, of course, like me, and lots of smalls. And here's a whole shelf of cats and dogs and animals. So here is her showcase, and she just uh, put these new lights in, and this is what I think I need to do for my showcases. It looks so much better, and you can see the jewelry perfectly clear. So this is definitely something I gotta do. And she's got both of her cases lit up like this. Uh, she has very similar stuff as mine. She has lots of sterling and uh, gemstones in that case. And the first case was more the vintage jewelry and the colored jewelry. So if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe and press the like button. So we're gonna head on down to my booth. I am in row seven. So we're, we're almost towards the end on the left-hand side if you happen to come shopping at Mall Meme Antique Mall. So we're heading up to get to the booth here and um, oh my goodness, what a mess. I can already, already see it from here. This is our last display, it's a Patriotics display, uh, which was uh, did quite well. I sold a lot of the items I was wanting to get rid of, but um, it's time to change it. We're gonna keep though some of these items and, and integrate them within the shelves. So we still have our blow mold there, which I'm surprised that hasn't sold, our Uncle Sam blow mold, but we're gonna keep him there. So here's another quick look at our booth, how it was before. And what we're gonna do here in the front is we're gonna move this, all the stuff off the shelves and we're gonna put in a turquoise and lime green display with uh, seashells and beach theme items. And the reason we're, we, we're doing those two colors is I happen to have a lot of those two colors. So I have some signs that are really beach themed and I wanna take care of that. So we're gonna put all these turquoise items to the front of the booth. And then we're gonna take all the cobalt items and the navy blue items and we're gonna put them back here. So we're gonna do a little switcheroo so that it matches kind of our theme here. So here's all of the items in the front here. We're gonna be moving all of those out to the back. So let's get busy. Okay, uh, we already got some of our turquoise items put towards the front and I realize I kinda of ran out of turquoise items. So I'm gonna also have to put some green items in this other shelf to go with our theme and our color. So we got the blue back here, it's still pretty messy but we have it at least all moved and we'll come back to that shelf and pick it up a bit to make it look a little bit better. We have our Uncle Sam down there too because I kind of wanted to keep him. The 4th of July has not come yet, so that still may sell. 
this month. So let's head on. Oh, and uh, here's what we did with our red rag wagon. I don't know if anybody was seeing it. It's such a good price. We had to put it in the back to see if that helps a little bit with our sales. Here is our green and our turquoise. We got a good start on this booth. And those fans there I got at the Tecumseh Citywide Sale. If you watch our, our YouTube channels, you'll see that on our station. And here is the signs that were the inspiration. They were lime green and turquoise. And I thought, ooh, that's kind of a cool theme. So now we got to fix up the top here and change the mannequins and bring some new things out to the top of our uh, display there. I did bring a little gray table towards the front too. Okay, we're getting a little bit better here. We have the mannequins changed. Uh, I still have to put some clothes away back into the racks. And we got a really good start with our beach theme. And we also worked on our end cap here. And I did the turquoise and the green there also, kind of to, to coordinate with our middle seasonal display. And over here, I haven't finished this yet over here. Um, I have a hanger with clothes on it, but I brought this door. I actually found this door in my barn loft. I don't even remember buying it, but we were cleaning out the barn and lo and behold, there was a nice door with chicken wire on it. And I thought that's perfect for an end cap. So here we go. This is looking pretty good. Here's our new seasonal display with the turquoise and the greens and lots of seashells and, and things like that. So let's take a little tour. We did bring our globes down from the other shelves because it kind of coordinated with it. And I thought, boy, that would look cute. It's travel, seasonal, summer display. That kind of all goes together. So let's take a look here and see all the items that we brought forward. Now, even if you don't add new items, if you shuffle things around like this, your sales will go up. So I'm always trying to change the, my seasonal display to different seasons, different colors, to bring the things out from the back of the shelves that haven't been seen. They tend to look at eye level. So you've got to shuffle things around all the time when you have an antique booth. Now up here, we got all these shell necklaces and I got those at the after the Flat Rock Speedway sale. We have a YouTube on that and I got them in those dollar bags. Look how many shell necklaces I got. So I thought this is a perfect opportunity to put those out and sell them. And here's some neat signs that are newer, but kind of coincide with our seasonal display. So here's the side of the booth. And I kept my earring racks in there. That seems to be a good height for people to buy those and they can see them real clearly and they got a little room to move because they can twirl them around. And here's some nice Victorian plates I have. So I kept those there. Here's a nice smoking stand and my hat tree I kept. And a nice big straw hat for the summer. And here's our wagon and some old coolers that I have that I put in the back there. They were initially in the front of my red, white, and blue display. And we have our shelf of all melt glass back here. And some necklaces and some rings. So let's go around to the side in the middle display. And I still kept this red chalkboard because it kind of went with the wagon and that chicken sign. That chicken sign is a reproduction, but still very nice. I do sell newer items also, like these signs obviously are newer items. Um, this mall, you can sell those types of things. You're allowed a certain percentage of things like that. So that's okay to do. And look at this beautiful necklace. How pretty is that? Perfect colors for this display. I had to put it out. And my racks of pins and um, those things. Oh, and the Beatles glasses too. They just sold. That was a really good purchase. And I believe I got those at the Trenton Citywide Sales. I think I paid a quarter piece for those. So that was a good sale. Now let's take a tour of the rest of the booth here. I tried to pick that up while I was there to make that look a little bit better. And we're in the front, we're in our purple and blacks and, and uh, milk glass and clear displays. Most of the milk glass is behind the seasonal display, but I have some integrated in here. And then we're moving into our red and pink area. And there's some Tom and Jerry mugs. Surprised those haven't sold. Those are pretty popular. 
And there's my sign, and here's our clothing. That actually, I'm doing quite well with it. I ventured into clothing. I'm doing vintage and new clothing and doing quite well. And here's our Uncle Sam and our cobalt and blue display back here. And our showcase. And oh, <laughs> purse fell down. I'm glad I was here when that happened. I hate to have something in the middle of the aisle like that. I thought I heard a loud clunk going. I didn't know what that was. <laughs> And here's all our purses and wallets. Lots of Vera Bradley, lots of vintage purses. And we dressed our mannequin with a more summer dress. And our toys, which I'm doing okay in the toys, not as well as I'm doing in the clothing. So I, I'm still learning about toys. So we're gonna keep working on that. But the hats down there, I'm doing quite well in those hats. So I started to buy those uh, baseball type hats. And they're doing quite well. And here's the side that has the browns and yellows and the oranges. I kind of group them all together because they kind of look good together. And lots of antiques and lots of collectibles and some new items mixed in. And there's some Victorian pictures that I put in new frames and those have been doing quite well too. I've sold almost all of those. And here's our showcase and I wanted to redo the showcase and change around the colors but we didn't have time this time to do that we may have to come separately on a day just to do that because it takes a lot of time this uh, blue head vase is new to the showcase and along with this uh, green compote or candy dish with covered lid and that does shine like Vaseline glass so we'll see there are folks that go around with these special flat flashlights in the mall <laughs> always looking for those things so hopefully they'll spot that. And then on the top, I put all the green suitcases. They were all together in one and I spread them out. So let's take a look at the booth from the end. Here's our end cap. And I just sold that fence piece that was kind of in the back. I pulled it forward and now it's sold. And here's our other end cap. And I put all kinds of turquoise jewelry on there with a turquoise shirt to kind of go along with our display in the middle. And actually, I've sold quite a few necklaces already off this rack also since I made this video. So things are working. When you move things around, it really stimulates sales. And that shirt sold too. So it was a, a good move. We're going to take a quick view coming in from this side so you can see the overall. And I really love that I have a big enough booth now to put this in the middle. I feel like it's made a big difference and my sales have gone up substantially. So here's a view coming from the other end. And this is uh, Lou, Lou from Lou's Antiques saying goodbye and keep changing those things within your antique booth because it will help stimulate sales. We'll see you again. Bye.